Hello there, welcome to IGCSC Accounting Lessons. In this lesson, we are going to know how to prepare income statement. And those are related to the statement uh, of financial positions. So uh, the question is that why income statement is needed to prepare. In terms of income statement, uh, business or organizations they identify the profit or loss from the business so that is the main purpose to um, prepare income statement so now I'm gonna uh, show you how to prepare income statement there is uh, two way uh, or to prepare income statement uh, one is simple another one is based on the questions so first of all, uh, we need to know how to prepare simple income statement. If there is uh, not uh, any um, sales or revenue or sales return or purchases or purchases returns in the questions, there might have uh, gross profit in questions. Like let's look if it, gross profit is given. Uh, question uh, trial balance in the debit uh, debit side sorry credit side then if uh, income has given in the credit side uh, those uh, things need to add and uh, calculate the total risk profit then need to deduct uh, all expenses expenses must have given in the trial balance of uh, questions so find out the all expenses we need to know what are the expenses, uh, possible expenses. So, uh, for example, wages or salaries, office expenses, selling expenses, uh, rent and rates, insurance, then uh, loan interest, bad debts, those are expenses. And some expenses uh, can be given in the adjustment entries uh, below the trial balance in questions where you can find uh, expenses like prepaid expenses or mm, depreciation expenses. So if depreciation has given in the questions, need to calculate the depreciations. Earlier we learned how to calculate the depreciations. There are three methods of depreciations, you know. Uh, for example, a straight line uh, method, then reducing balance method, and the last one is uh, Mm, uh, revaluation method so you know how to calculate the uh, straight line method reducing balance method and uh, revaluations method so calculate the apply the method and calculate the uh, depreciations as an expense then all you need to add all uh, expenses and deduct by the gross profit amount of gross profit after deducting that there will be profit for the year so now let's have a look at the other way to prepare income statement if a, a question has given sales or purses or sales returns process returns so um, first of all start by sales or revenue in this column then uh, deduct sales return if it is given in the questions sales return always is given debit side of uh, trial balance in questions then uh, calculate the final amount here then uh, add the purses amount of purses which is given in the trial balance uh, debit side of trial balance in questions then deduct the purses return it is uh, given in credit side of trial balance in the questions so uh, deduct the uh, purses returns from cash so now uh, need to deduct uh, total purses I mean actual purses from actual sales. This is actual sales. This is actual purses. So after deducting the actual purses from actual actual sales, uh, now we have gross profit. This is the way to calculate the gross profit if it is not given in the questions. I mean in the trial balance. So now uh, if income is given in the questions, we need to add income. Uh, when gross profit income must uh, mm, uh, be given in the mm, credit side of trial balance uh, I mean uh, though income is given in the credit side of trial balance expense is always given in the debit side of 
uh, trial balance so that's why if it is given you need to add if it is missing no need to add next after uh, getting the total gross profit need to uh, deduct all expenses uh, already i um, talked about the expenses so need to add all expenses then after deducting ex all expenses from total gross profit we will have profit for the year we got profit for the year now you are going to prepare uh, we are going to prepare a statement of financial position. So the thing is that how to prepare a statement of financial positions. This is the way. Let's have a look. Uh, so there is given three column because uh, uh, if a question has depreciation issues, uh, need to prepare one cost column uh, for cost amount, uh, which has been given in the questions, then depreciation column. If depreciation has given in the questions, uh, need to uh, show this column. If it is not given in the questions, no need to show uh, total depreciations like this column. Then uh, the final column is called net column. So now uh, need to uh, find out all non-current assets, start by non-current assets. Then non-current asset if uh, uh, it is related with depreciations. Uh, so for below the trial balance if it is given then need to deduct all depreciations from non-current assets. So we need to know what are the non-current asset. Look at the uh, these slides. These are the non-current possible non-current assets like land, buildings, fixtures, fittings, furniture uh, and fittings, office equipment, motor vehicles, delivery vehicles, cookery and something like that. So non-current asset, you know, the asset uh, which uh, is useful more than one year. So now go back to the non-current uh, statement of financial positions, I mean in non-current asset. So if depreciation is related with um, non-current asset, need to deduct the depreciations and after deducting in, you uh, will be able to get the net value of non-current asset then uh, find out the all current assets from the questions i mean that is given in debit side of questions in trial balance then we need to know what are the possible current assets so let's have a look at here the list of current assets like inventory trade receivables other receivables cash at bank cash at hand and prepaid expenses. Prepaid expenses uh, can be given in the adjustment entries below the trial balance of questions where you can have prepaid expense. If it is given, you can add prepaid expense with all expense. If it is not given, no need to add as a non -cur uh, sorry current asset in the um, statement of financial positions. So now, add all uh, current asset like this then uh, need to uh, calculate total current asset total non-current asset this was total non-current asset this was total current asset so now uh, need to calculate total asset this this is called total assets now uh, the time for calculating the capital capital is given um, amount of capital is given uh, credit side of trial balance in questions so uh, you, you need to uh, update the capital because uh, we got uh, profit for the year earlier so now what are the way to um, calculate uh, capital the way is first of all uh, add opening balance of capital which has been given in the questions uh, I mean in uh, trial balance uh, credit side of trial balance in question then add profit for the year which profit for the year let's have a look profit for the year we calculated from income statement uh, so that profit for the year you need to um, calculate uh, here then uh, after uh, calculating adding the profit for the year uh, deduct drawings drawings should be given in uh, the trial balance uh, of questions so after 
deducting the drawings with both amount you will have uh, the net 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 capital so for example 68000 was opening uh, balance of capital uh, which has been given in the question got uh, 42400 um, as a profit for the year and drawing has been given in the trial balance 37000 uh, so now the total net capital is 73 uh, 1400 so I have shown you the way to calculate the capital so you will apply the same way to calculate the capital in your I mean uh, questions then uh, need to add current liabilities current liabilities are given uh, in the trial balance credit side also it's uh, uh, related to it adjustment as well it can be so uh, we need to know what are the current liabilities. Let's have a look at uh, the screen. Uh, the list of current liabilities are trade payables, others payables, prepaid income, accruals or due, bank overdraft. If uh, you, uh, I mean, if business uh, get ad advance or uh, prepaid amount, uh, the, I mean, if uh, business received, that is income or if paid that is expense so expense is related with current assets but prepaid income is related with uh, current liabilities then accruals or due that would be given in uh, the adjustment of questions so uh, the accruals uh, or due amount of that should be added as a current liabilities then a bank overdraft if it is given in the questions need to uh, add in the current uh, liabilities so now go back to the uh, screen the previous screen current liabilities you uh, need to calculate here then uh, put amount total amount of current liabilities here then need to uh, uh, know the non current liabilities uh, so we need to know what is uh, what are the non current liabilities for example here look at the um, slides the non-current li non -current liabilities are bank loan or bank loan or loan so non-current liabilities is actually uh, that liabilities which uh, is uh, useful more than one year so add all non-current liabilities if it is given in the questions up then uh, need to calculate uh, capital current liabilities and non-current liabilities those need to add so after adding these, uh, that would be quite similar. If it is quite similar with um, total assets, then uh, you, you you will think your um, uh, task hasn't any mistakes. If it has mistake, you need you need to think uh, it somewhere you made mistakes. So those balance should be uh, entirely similar, like total asset and total liabilities and capital should be same so according to these way and these tips you can prepare an income statement for your um, uh, IGCSA accounting so I think you got uh, clear information now you can take any task from the book and you can start um, uh, to um, calculate uh, the income statement and statement of uh, financial positions. I think you enjoyed my lesson. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot.